welcome back. Wait, wait, let me start over. Like, I got nervous. <laughs> welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today, we're going to a theme park. Yeehaw! We're going to Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah, we're going to a theme park. None of the rides are open. They're having a mini food festival, a boysenberry food festival. We're gonna get to go inside the gates, walk through ghost town, eat some food, maybe buy some things. But most importantly, eat some food. Come with us on this adventure. This weekend was supposed to be the anniversary, the 65th anniversary of Disneyland. They were gonna reopen that did not happen, but I guess America's first theme park is going to kind of have a reopening. The Knott's Chicken. Disneyland is known for the Disneyland cats. Is Knott's Berry Farm known for the Knott's Berry chickens or roosters or whatever that is? It just got kind of sad. Do you think that's one of the... the the chickens that they use for Knott's famous chicken dinner. Looks like the same, right? We haven't been here since when they first launched the chicken dinner restaurant, and it looks like they have outdoor seating. Like you can actually eat and they'll have a server, something they didn't have before. Which I'm honestly down to do. We need to come back and do that a different yeah. day, maybe. So at Knott's they have the same safety precautions as everywhere else. You gotta wear a face covering, you gotta stay within six feet of other guests, and you gotta, oh yeah, wash your hands. Instead of doing the temperature check where they scan your forehead, you just walk through like a full body scanner. I've heard about those before, but it's the first time we've gone through one. Yeah, they're like looking at a monitor and they can see heat of your body. Oh, is that what was going yeah, on? Yeah. Wow, how high tech. They're so high tech here at Knott's. Yeah, and then you go through some metal detectors and they didn't check your bag, but they were checking some other people's bags, but they were not touching. Unlike at Downtown Disney, they were not going through the bags. They were having the person move stuff around. Thank you. Oh yeah, we're in, baby. Knott's Berry Farm is having this Taste of Calico event. It is happening Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, at least for the next two weeks of July. And to get into this party, you can't, you don't buy a ticket. You have to buy one of these tasting cards. These are an adult tasting card. It costs 25 bucks. A kid's tasting card, I think, is 15. The adult one gets you five tastings. The kid one gets you three. You can't come in if you don't have a tasting card. You can't split a tasting card. It needs to be one tasting card per person. All right, enough talking. Now we gotta go do the eating. Come on. You better declare, my dear, before you get to that damn window. This is not a browsy establishment. People are gonna need food. How awesome is this? Holy underation! It's the ordinary adventure! <laughs> yeah! This part is now in full force! Yes! I looked for you in last summer and it took you come back to Calico. Yes. Oh my word, it's good to see you. Aren't you a peach without a pet? I am. I'm a, I'm a sweaty peach right now. It's a little bit warm on the porch today. You here to get some grub? Yes. Yeah. There is delicious food and surprises to be found what, everywhere. What, what, what do you recommend, Mayor? Everything. You know what? I recommend the elote. I was going to say. I'm going to say it right now. The I elote. It's corn rolled in butter and some kind of boysenberry crumbly stuff. But it... It's like mania from heaven. It's amazing. That sounds so good. Oh my word, is it good to see you two again. Yeah. We missed you. We missed you, but well, welcome back. It's so good to be back. It is hot today though, I will say. Howdy, welcome to I feel time. like I need to go get a boysenberry beer first yeah, thing. Yeah, you need to get a boysenberry beer. <laughs> yeah. Buy well, that woman correct. the coldest beverage they have. <laughs> and a bag of chips, because she is indeed the peach without the pit. <laughs> good to see you again too, Mr. Fuzzy Face. First things first, I really want to get a boysenberry beer to start the day off right. That is my absolute favorite thing to get whenever I'm at Knott's Berry Farm. Wow, they have a bunch of picnic tables set up everywhere, as far as the eye can see. And I think the capacity is pretty limited. It is. It did sell out. There's not going to be that many people here, hopefully. But yeah, it's good to see that they have so many tables ready for us. We found our first line and a little bit of lines, especially with the social distancing markers, because, you know, people are more spread apart. It looks longer. Just like in the Old West, they have hand sanitizer everywhere. And as I said, this event 
is only in Ghost Town, so you can't get to the rest of the park, but it is a pretty wide area. At the Judge Roy Bean booth, they have boysenberry flavored beer, wine, and sangria. They come in a tasting size or for a few dollars extra. You could order full size, which is what I did, because I wanted a full size boysenberry beer. Oh. It's just as good as I remember. It kind of tastes like a Hefenweizen or like some kind of wheat beer with like a, a sweet hint of boysenberry. It's so refreshing. It's like 90 degrees out right now. It's very hot. So this is definitely hitting the spot. Are we rating this? Yeah, how many ketchup? Five. Five. That's not even a question. This gets a five. You have to try the boysenberry beer when you come to Knott's Berry Farm. By the way, that, that rooster is in the background there watching you. I'm finding that rooster everywhere. I've never noticed the roosters here before. <laughs> It is so hot out here today, guys. I'm excited. I got the boysenberry smoothie. This is something I've never tried before. Sweet and tart, and if you know what boysenberry tastes like, it, I mean, it's basically a boysenberry smoothie. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> what kind of review is that, Peter? I don't know. But if you love boysenberry, this is, this. I don't know. It could be also that it's really hot out here, but I think it's five out of five Peters. This hits the spot right now. And it's a big portion too. That's like a full size portion. It all, almost might be like a little much. You know, boysenberry can be a little strong at times. They did switch to paper straws. We forgot to bring the straws that the people sent us from the giveaway. Ah, next time. It's okay, come on, come on. All right, here we go. It's my pet raccoon named Rabbit. Isn't he sweet? You know, he does tricks too. It's true, he does tricks. Watch, we gotta hypnotize him first. He's out. So my whole plan was to be walking and drinking my beer. Obviously you can't do that. If you want to enjoy your food or your drinks, you have to find a place to sit yeah, to smart. take off your let's mask. See. So it's okay, let's go find some food and then I can finish the rest of my drink. It is cool to be back in a theme park, but I will say that it is strange walking through, seeing all these coasters, seeing all these rides, and there's nothing on them. You don't even hear, you know, the cycling of of Here. car vehicles without anybody on them. I'll fix that for you. Ah! Ah! Does it sound like we're at a theme park? So if you want to go extreme with the social distancing, they have this cemetery in Ghost Town. And I found the perfect spot to enjoy my beer. I don't think you're allowed to take off your mask in the casket. Trust me, there's nobody around. It's shady in here. This is life. We thank you for continuing to wear your face covering and being mindful of social distancing during your visit. I don't know why, but the not safety warning that goes over the PA speakers sounds a lot less dystopian than Disney and Universal's. Maybe it's because it's like a little bit more short and to the point and like seems happy and thankful. Yeah like hot hand sanitizer, but it still feels good. It almost seems like there's more tables and there are people here. Booth number two, we went to the Wilderness Broiler and there I got the pastrami sandwich. It's on a pretzel bun with some boysenberry mustard. That sounds a little strange. I'll be honest with you. I was not a big pastrami fan when I was younger. I always thought it looked gross. It kind of looked slimy, but recently I've got, it kind of really gotten into it. So I'm excited for this. Would you say that you're a pastrami connoisseur? I'm not sure I'd say I'm a pastrami connoisseur, but I am a connoisseur of pretzel buns. And this has a real soft pretzel-y flavor. The boysenberry mustard sounds like a combination you wouldn't want. It sounds like you wouldn't want boysenberry and mustard together, but it, it is a great combination. This is juicy. I don't want to be giving out five Peters all over the place. But this is five Peters. Wow. This is good. I ordered the deep fried potato chips with an onion dip. I'm gonna be honest, I thought this was a boysenberry onion dip because I swear on the Knott's website it was like a purplish color, like in the photo. So I feel kind of duped and I feel like maybe I shouldn't have ordered this, but I do love a good onion dip. So, I mean, if it's good, I'm not gonna complain. Wow, it's really garlicky. 
Doesn't really taste like onion dip. It tastes like... Does it taste like French onion? I mean, kind of, a little bit. It tastes more to me like a tzatziki, like something that you'd find on Greek food because it's so garlicky. Maybe it's garlic mixed with onions. The chips are delicious. They're nice and deep fried. Peter's order came with the exact same chips. Once again, probably not the smartest decision to get to get this, but it is tasty. This probably gets this probably gets like a four out of five. It's not like amazing. I'd say between the two, probably just get the pastrami because you get the same chips with it. In terms of the queen team, Knott's is on it. Like the minute we got up from the table, there was someone there cleaning it off. Pretty good. Good Knott's. At Universal Studios Florida, they have a U rest zone. At Disney World, they have the relaxation station. And here at Knott's, they have the relax zone. So I'm very curious to see what this is all about. Let's go see. In this area, you're free to just kind of hang out with your mask off for a little bit to take a quick breather. This is nice. It's right by a waterfall. It's nice and like the breeze is flowing over here. I like that there's a place that you can take down your mask and just relax. But who makes up these names? You rest, relax zone. They need to get like someone in creative on these names. These are not good names. Is that a hand in the waterfall? I've never seen that before, that's crazy. He used to be a Disney cat and then he get vanquished. They didn't, they, you know, uh, Francisco was like, get out of my territory, go to Knox. That's so cool, these are all handmade, or hand glass blown here. That's one of the things that I love about Knott's Berry Farm, because it's just so fun. At the Gourmet Churro Factory, they have a mini stuffed churro. I was expecting it to be a lot smaller than this. It looks small, but it's like dense. Like it's like heavy. Oh my God. This is so good. <laughs> this is the first time I've had a churro in so long. This is really, really good. It's very, very sweet. Obviously it's covered in like a purple boysenberry sugar. And then it has that boysenberry, I guess, jam in the center. It's a five out of five. This is the first churro I've eaten, so that automatically gives it a, a five. It's nice and warm. I, I feel like it's fresh, you know what I mean? So, good job, Knox. I'm not sharing this with you, Peter, sorry. Two hours in, I, we've noticed this, that the first two stands that we went to took almost a half an hour each, the lines. There's not that many people here, but there's also not that many stands, so there's, everybody's waiting in lines. And everybody has one of these, which means they're going to be in line five times within the six hour period. That said, no one was waiting for churro. So if you go for the desserts earlier in your trip here, you might be better off than going later and maybe vice versa. It's sad. It, it's supposed to be not 100th anniversary celebration right now, but 2020 and the events of this world have kind of put a stop to that party. They were supposed to open up a new ride, which is actually a return to the Berry Tales, which is one of the classic animatronic rides in Knott's history that went away and every, all the Knott's fans love while well, they're, you know, bringing it back in some sort of way. It's kind of like a Midway Mania kind of ride where it's, you're shooting and playing carnival games. But that was supposed to be open by now. But you can see the sign right behind me. Maybe when it's safe again, and they can turn on those on buttons and turn on all these theme park rides. We'll get to go on Berry Tales. It's like the light at the end of the tunnel for me. I was wearing a medical mask and it broke. Luckily I had my universal mask, and, but it's really hurting my ear. I heard the Knots has some masks of their own. It's like they have three different styles. They have a purple one that just says Knots on it. They have some with boysenberries on it. And then they have one, which I think is kind of the coolest one. It looks like the bandana that, that we have for the Calico Ghost Town. It also looks like they're one size fits most. So normally at the theme parks, we've been seeing small, medium, and large. The interesting thing about this one, I guess if it doesn't fit you, they have, like, there's a way to adjust it. But it, like, you need, like, a paper clip to, <laughs> so hopefully it fits my face. <laughs> Go over here. 
Um, I don't love it. <laughs> First impressions. I mean, there is a way to adjust it. I just don't think I could do it. Like they give you these little. You could do it right now. I don't like this mask. I wish I could return it. I'm so disappointed. This looks so stupid. Like, what is going on here, Knots? This is meant for like a giant. Does it look strange on me? Uh, it looks better than it does on me. I don't know. I, I still don't like it though. Yeah, that's a fail. And it's fogging up my glasses because the air is just like coming out here, going in. Yeah. Yeah. You know who we haven't said hi to yet? Sad Eye Joe, do you think he's... You think he's been in there for the whole four months this place has been closed down? I mean, I think he's been in there a lot longer than four months, but let's let's find out. Oh, they've even got markers. <laughs> so many people come to see him that they need social distancing markers. Have you been in here this whole time? All day long. How nope. long? Oh, but I mean, like the last four months, no one's been here to visit you. Well, the the, 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 the time when no one was here, it turns out, get this, it's pretty funny. <laughs> they forgot to lock my door. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so I actually got to slip out and kind of walk around the place a little bit. How fun. It was fun, let me tell you. Do you have any advice of what the best thing to eat here tonight is? Well, you know, my specialty I wouldn't live without it is my beans and bacon. Your beans and bacon? I have beans and bacon for breakfast, <laughs> beans and bacon for lunch, beans and bacon for dinner. I even get beans and bacon for a midnight snack. But the thing about beans is I hear the more you more you eat, the more the more you toot. I know where you're going with yeah. that. <laughs> you are so right. It is a little stinky in there now that I think about you it. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Don't light a match near me. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're doing okay in here, and I'm glad that you got to get out for a little bit when no one was here. It feels good to be back in Ghost Town. And it's kind of funny because I, I think I've told the story before on the channel, but when this first started a hundred years ago, it was Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant, and they built this ghost town just to service the people that were waiting in line for that food. So it wasn't a theme park. It was just like a place to hang out. And now it's back to that. Now everybody's here to eat again. Hello, fellas. Long time. It's been like an entire year since I've seen you guys. What have you guys been up to? They're not wearing masks, I just realized. Oh. No social distancing going on No here. social distancing. Okay, guys, as much as I'd love to stay in chat, I just, I gotta go. It's good seeing you guys, though. So next up, we're going to Sutter. Sutter says like four of the most anticipated items at this food festival. And you can tell because the line for this zigzags all the way through Ghost Town, around the corner, through the roller coasters, and right <laughs> over to Camp Snoopy, where we are currently in line. Luckily, I've heard that they have four cashiers. Most of these, most of these like festival booths only have one cashier. So four cashiers, we were told, 30 to 40 minutes. We'll find out. Update, we've been in the line about 40 minutes and I think we're like halfway, a little over halfway there. I think if Knott's is gonna continue doing this, they need to open up more stands, they gotta have more cashiers because the line ratio to people here is just insane. Like, we're, we've been in this line for over 40 minutes and I don't see the end of it. That said, the $25 to come here to Knott's and hang out in Knott's I mean, that pastrami sandwich that I had with the chips, that was like the size of a meal at, at, at like some theme parks. That is not like when you go to Disney and you get like a food festival sample, that is not the size of that. So if you get five items of that size for 25 bucks, that is tr a tremendous value. I hope they keep, continue to do this. I hope they work out the kinks because I think this is a lot of fun. So we found a secluded space underneath the roller coasters that are not rolling. And from Sutter's, I'm first gonna try these boysenberry barbecue wings. Yeah, I could smell them from here. They look, oh, they smell amazing. Okay. We need to get some of that boysenberry barbecue sauce. This is so sweet, tangy. The meat is falling right off the bone. 
You know, I was actually not expecting this good of wings from a theme park, to be honest with you. I know Knott's Berry Farm, the, you know, they have a history of doing good food, but this is really good. And they, they just put it on. They just like pour it onto the wings. Five out of five Peters. I feel like I'm giving five Peters all over the place. Five Peters here, five Peters there, five Peters. You, you know how people used to make it rain with money? I'm making it rain with Peters. Peters here, Peters there, Peters everywhere. We also ordered the mac and cheese bites with a sriracha ketchup. What is a mac and cheese bite? I think it's basically just deep fried macaroni and cheese, which I've had before, never from Knott's, and it's always been delicious. So can these live up to the hype? Kind of spicy. Oh, really? I mean, not that spicy. It's a sriracha. You could definitely taste very heavy on sriracha. It almost tastes like pure sriracha, like n no ketchup mixed in it. Which isn't a bad thing. This is good. It has like that fake cheese flavor, which I don't love. Uh, I don't like the kind fake of like cheese. a nacho cheese. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just I don't know if I love it. Probably gets like a two or a three, two and a half. It makes me sad to say. It's fun. I like that I could like carry it around in this thing, and you get like a huge portion. You can carry it around nowhere because you can only eat it at this no. table that we're right next to right you now. You should have seen me. We spent like 10 minutes just trying to figure out where I could set this on the table so it wouldn't spill everywhere. <laughs> but I don't know. It's fun. If you like this kind of mac and cheese, you'll probably like it. It's just not my favorite thing. I'm going to eat them all, but... <laughs> now, this is a pulled pork slider. It's like it has like crispy onions and there's probably some boysenberry barbecue sauce. And this is a Hawaiian roll, which I love. If I could be a connoisseur of wine rolls, I would be, but I don't think that's a thing. So I'm not going to make it up. But here it goes. Very solid. Sweet, tangy, same sauce. I like the crispy onions. It gives it a little bit of a like, crunch to it. Can't go wrong with the wine roll. Four to five Peters. All day. They also had samosas with a boysenberry chutney dipping sauce. What's in the samosa? I don't know. Usually there's like potatoes. Sometimes you can get it with meat if that's your preference. So we'll find out once I take a bite. It's got that like Indian spice to it mixed with the boysenberry chutney. This is quite delicious. I've never seen a samosa with like a dipping sauce like that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. These are fried to perfection. I really like these. These probably get like a four and a half out of five. Don't know what's in them but I like them. That's my review. Samosas with boysenberry chutney all day. <laughs> We've been watching a lot of Gary V lately. If you know, you know. Yeah. Trash ha talk. Hashtag mug life. I don't know why they're like moving <laughs> chairs and stuff. That scared me. It reminded me. It triggered me because it reminded me of Not Scary Farm. Because <laughs> I have all those people that like slide around. If you haven't seen when we went to Not Scary Farm, check it out. So that's what that noise <laughs> reminded me of. I was like, <laughs> um, the fries, they're not really that good here. Don't. Not doesn't have good fries. I always like get fooled because they have like carne asada fries mm -hmm. or yeah, remember, garlic fries. Remember when I ordered those gar carne asada fries and they were so gross? <laughs> Like, how do you mess up carne asada fries? I don't know. I mean, I don't mind eating them with my side dish, but I wouldn't go out of my way for it. They're still French fries. Yeah, that's a good point. They're still French fries, so by that measure, they're still pretty good. The one benefit, well, there's many be benefits of wearing the mask, but one of the pluses of wearing it, you could have a bunch of food stuck in your teeth and no one will know. Because I got a bunch of food stuck in my teeth right now. And I don't even care, baby, because you can't tell. <laughs> well, now you know, but whatever. Well, you guys make me so happy, and it's so wonderful to see people here in Calico again. Nice to see you. Ma'am, are you having a great day? Not talking to me. We've had some words. That's okay. <laughs> we'll be all right. I, I just, just give me a little, a little chance, a little uh, time to apologize. I just found out there's a nail up here. <laughs> Yes, and it's covered in bird poop. Well, that's not a problem, is it? <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. We'll talk later. It's okay. Well, sometimes, sometimes when a creepy old miner I love talks it. to you from the balcony, the best thing to do is to flee. I'm probably the first person ever to make this comparison. 
but Ghost Town in Knott's Berry Farm is kind of like Pandora in that you have to experience both in the daytime and at nighttime. Yes. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So next up we went to Fireman's Brigade's Barbecue because we heard about this roasted corn. As you know, I am a connoisseur of roasted corn, so it is a must try. We got the roasted corn with butter and cojita cheese. This is just well done. Like, there's nothing like exceptional about this. It's very buttery. That you have the cojita cheese. It's not like a lot of cheese. It's not like a very cheesy flavor. It's just a well done roasted corn. I'd give it like four to five peters. So I guess I'm not making it rain here tonight all night, but but it's still worth your time. It's funny. Kitra said earlier that there was more tables than there were people here. I don't think that's true. I think the thing is there's more people in line than there are people on ta in tables eating. You know, it's almost 10 o'clock and we have yet to use our five tabs each. As a couple with 10 tabs, it was almost impossible for us to use 10 tabs in that six hours because the lines. I think they, like, if they're gonna do more of this, they need to, they need to fix the lines, is what I'm trying to say. It's funny, they have this whole DJ set up with all these tables in front of it and there's nobody sitting there. There's absolutely nobody sitting there because everybody's in lines. Take off with this one. After that, we're gonna keep going for a couple more minutes, but this is my last song. Once again, big shout out to everybody that joined us here tonight. It was truly a pleasure. pleasure. Cheers. It's completely melted. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make a front. If yeah, make a front. Yeah, because you gave me a melted one too, and I had to ask for a fresh one. Make a front. We waited in line for an hour. Yeah. I don't want to be that person. We waited in line for an hour. I get a fresh one. It sounds like I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, right there. Oh my god, thank you. Perfect. It's thank fine. you so thank much. You. This better be the best dang ice cream cookie sandwich I've ever tried because we waited an hour <laughs> in line. From Mix It Up, we got the boysenberry jam sugar cookie witch, which looks like some kind of ice cream sandwich, I'm guessing, with boysenberry ice cream. Looks like chocolate chips and then a boysenberry sugar cookie. I hope this is my favorite thing that we've had all night. We waited the longest for this. Uh huh. Oh, okay. This is impossible to eat. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I mean, Good? I haven't even gotten the cookie yet. Mm. Oh yeah. This is absolutely delicious. This is so good. I feel like the chocolate chips really like make it. This boysenberry soft serve ice cream. It's a little bit tart, a little bit sweet. This cookie is delicious. This whole thing is delicious. This gets like a 10. <laughs> so good. And it's not just because we waited an hour. It's so, so good. Run here first. When you first get here, go straight to that place because that line moves at a snail's pace. This is so good. They should sell this like all year round. They might. This should be like added to the menu. I know. That place normally sells like cookies with like the chocolate chips on the sides, but this is incredible. Okay, don't eat all my cookies. The cookies are really good too. Ten Peters. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the perfect thing to end our night. It's really messy though. Yeah. On behalf of all of us here at Knott's Berry Farm, we want to thank you for your continued support and wish you and your loved ones safe travels. Have a good night, and we'll see you soon. Well, it's been fun, darling, but we got to get going. Thanks for having us. See you next time. Of course, now there's no line at Sutter's. Right? What the heck? I'd... <laughs> okay, it was worth it. <laughs> we had a lot of fun here at Knott's. I hope that they learned some lessons on the line. Yeah. I hope they figure that out because, I, and I hope they do a lot more of these over the course of the summer because this was a lot of fun. That said, I think we learned some lessons ourselves that you can learn from. So if you're planning on coming here, if you're coming with a group and I would suggest come with, you know, your significant other or a friend or whatever, divide and conquer. 
because if you each go to like one place and are able to get a couple things at that place, then you've already like in a half an hour have you know accomplished half your your allotment. So do what we didn't do. We didn't do that. Yeah. We still had a great time. We had six hours in here. I'm full. We didn't even get to look in the shops. We didn't have time to look in the shops. Urgh. Yeah, but I still had a really great time. We want to give a big thank you so much to Knotts for inviting us out here to yes. check out this thank event. Thank you, Knotts. Thank you so, so much. We were honored. If you haven't seen our adventure to Ghost Town Alive, it's like this interactive thing. It's what Galaxy's Edge should have and was going to be. We'll put the link to the video right over there. Watch it. Watch it. It's one of the best videos and most fun videos we've ever made. Yeah. And you'll see the more of the man. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Bye, my friend. See you next time. <laughs>